Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Team Tomi Inner Circle Weekly Meetup. On these webinars, we talk everything about marketing your online business. If you want to build an online business or you don't have an online business yet, you need to join us on Thursdays for the Backpack Business um, Weekly Webinar, okay? That's where we talk about business building. On these webinars, we talk about marketing a business you already have built. With that said, we're going to do something a little different tonight. We are going to talk about marketing, but I have a product that I'm supposed to be creating and um, I'm really behind on it. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to shoot the videos for those, um, those a couple of videos I'm supposed to be doing. So tonight we're going to talk about how to get how to get traffic with the free Facebook friend method. And then we're going to talk about how to get, um, content with the Facebook content method and then we're going to talk about the Facebook groups method okay so that's going to be three different traffic tactics and I'm going to act as I am recording these for that group or for that that program okay so we have the team Tomi inner circle weekly meetup so you guys get to watch me create content too okay so when I do this I'm going to close this one out and I need to pick up. Carolyn says we still get downloads. Absolutely. This is content creation. So if you need to create some content to market your business, you're going to learn how to do it. I need to find the presentation that I do. I have like a main presentation. Main pres. And I'm calling this. I'm going to take this out. Thirty days of traffic coaching. We're going to do, we'll put this on like, so the first day I need to talk about getting set up for traffic. I'm not going to do that on this webinar because I need to like actually write out a script for it. So we're going to do day one, the Facebook friend method. Now, generally is what I do when I'm doing these is I'll create a script. Oops, don't want to do that. I do need to move this thing over though. It doesn't look centered. Oh, you stupid thing. Stop it. Can we get all that in there? Oh, yeah. Except for one little coin. Actually, I want to bring that down. Oh, I'm going to kill this thing tonight. Put that back up there. And I'm going to save this as file, save as. Oh, wait, I already have it saved. Save changes. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Let's bring this up and see what I have. I've already created this thing. And it's a little out of whack because, uh, you know what, that's just going to work. Let's move this up. Take this. Let me take the whole thing, please. Oh, come on. There we go. Center that. That looks about centered. I'm going to pull this down.
This thing is just being plum stupid. Usually it lets me just select it all and then move it. Tonight, however, it's not letting me do that again. Why can't I select it all? Control Z, did not want to delete it. Okay, so it's let me take most of it. That's all I need. There we go. And then I'm gonna do copy, paste. Make this a little bit smaller. We'll do day two. The Facebook friend method. Because <clears throat> on day one, I'm going to go over laying the foundation and their options for traffic. And I'll just cut it, cut this video out of this video I'm doing for you guys. So this is the part where I, where's word? Create a script. So we're gonna call this file, save as, Day to script. And I just write down what I'm going to say and I generally print it out. Okay. So I'm going to do no spacing. Put this in Rotana 12. Hi there and welcome to the. Thirty days of traffic tactics coaching program. Thirty days of traffic tactics coaching program. We're now on day two and we're going to and for the next 29 days, I'm going to cover a new traffic tactic with you. Depending on the tactic will depend on how long the lesson is. For instance, for the next few days, these will be short and sweet because they're easy to do. All right, hi there, welcome. I'm going to cover new traffic activity depending on the tactic. How long for the next few days will be short and sweet because they're easy to do. So today we're going to go over my Facebook friend method and start adding friends on Facebook that are in our niche. This will allow you to put your content in front of your content websites and do so you put your content in in front of people and build relationships with them. Putting your 
stuff in front of it is just as important as Sorry guys, I'm being quiet because it's hard for me to talk and type. Uh, so today we're going to go over my Facebook friend method and start adding friends on Facebook. To my Facebook page and I'll show you how to find people to friend request how to find people that are in your niche Carol says we can read Oh, I will hope so. I will hope so. That's okay. Show Facebook account. Show how to find people by finding experts in their niche. Show how to find people by joining groups. Okay, that's it for today. Is what you need to do now is add at least five people is to at least five people who you know who in your niche. You'll want to do this daily. So make sure to add it to your traffic calendar. Um, I'm going to show them on day one how to create a traffic calendar too. So anything I'm going to show, I always put in bold and then I make it a little bit bigger so I know what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to put this in this font just because these are just things I want to show when I do this whole Facebook thing. So I would save this and generally print it out. Uh, I'm not going to try and run in the house and print anything out right now. Um, you know what I can do though? I can grab my phone and just read it from my phone. Okay. So, dun, 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 dun. all right, let me, I'm going to take all this, I'm going to do control A, copy it, and then I'm going to put it in a Google Doc, because I can access my Google Docs from my phone, and then I can just read it on my phone as I record here. Or Google Drive, that's what it's called now. New Google Doc.
day two script. I don't need it to be perfect right now because I'm just going to be reading this from my phone. All right, guys, give me 30 seconds. I'm going to grab my phone. I'll close this. And then I will uh, do this video while showing you guys the tactic, while showing you guys how to create content. Give me just a second. On my phone here, so Google Drive. Want to coach me, Liz? Please be on here. Where's that? There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to sit here with my phone and get rid of this whole recording thing and I'm not going to answer any questions or anything while I'm doing this you guys can type questions that's fine it won't make a difference um, but I'm just gonna do this as I would if you guys weren't here if I went on a webinar with you guys so give me just a second here All right, so I'm gonna count down three, two, one. Hi there and welcome to the 30 Days of Traffic Tactics Coaching Program. We're now on day two and for the next 29 days, I'm going to cover a new traffic tactic with you. Now, depending on the tactic will depend on how long the lesson is. For the next few days, these will be short and sweet because they're easy to do. We're gonna start off easy. So today we're going to cover my Facebook friend method and start adding friends on Facebook that are in our niche. This will allow you to put your content and websites or whatever links you have in front of people and build relationships with them. Now building relationships with people is just as important as putting your links in front of them, okay? Now people buy from who they like, know, and trust. So it's important that you do the relationship building side of things too on Facebook, okay? So we're going to head over to my Facebook page and I'll show you how to find people to request that are in your niche. So I'm going into my Facebook account. I always give a uh, disclaimer. You never know what you're gonna see on my Facebook page. Um, I have friends from all over the world uh, doing all kinds of things with different opinions and views and morals, evidently. So <laughs> please uh, don't be offended by anything you see here. So the first thing I wanna show you how to do is if you are in a niche and there are experts. So one expert in my niche would be Frank Kern. I could go find him. Oh, looks like he just has a page now. Let's see. Let's do people. Even their pages you can go and look at. So if I go and look at Frank's friends here. And I can look at his friends by if he has it available. So if we go friends. Ah, he does. So we have a lot of friends mutually, but I'm gonna look at people you may know. So let's say this guy right here. I actually know who he is and I can't believe we're not friends on Facebook. Looks like because he has met his quota of friends. We look and see how many friends he has. All friends. I don't know that it'll show it. That's okay. We'll just go to his timeline. And I'm gonna look through here. I do know this guy, but I'm gonna look through here and make sure he's in my niche. I'm in the internet marketing slash make money online niche. Um, this is me at Angara, Italy. Okay, that doesn't say anything. Oh, here we go. Here are the results after the first day contest. Only seven affiliates for WSO. All right, that's telling me he's in my niche. Happy to have gotten product of the day. We're third and we need all your help. 
It'll be a long run. Okay, so I can definitely tell that this guy is in my niche, okay? Um, but what you want to look at on these people is make sure that you're not adding just like gurus and stuff like that. This is a guy that's a product creator. Now, putting things in front of him that you're selling and stuff like that, he's not really a buyer. But these people who comment on his stuff, those are buyers, okay? So if we look at people who liked his stuff, this person... And you'll be able to tell as time goes on, okay? So this guy, let's see if there's anything he's posting business-wise. Commission code. Just got an awesome coaching call. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely a person that I want to add. I don't know if I have enough space to add a friend. Benny has reached the friend limit. You are now following him. Okay, so he's reached his friend limit too. So let's look at this person. Now she's not posting a lot or anything business related, but if I look, we've got four mutual friends. That definitely doesn't tell me that um, she's in my niche, but if I look at the people who she's following, these are people who create products. So she would probably be a person that I wanted to add as a friend to get my stuff in front of, okay? Now, you could keep going through this. So I went through that guy. I want to keep going through his stuff. I'm going to get rid of this and rid of this. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, so these people on this post here, Michael Harris. We'll take a look at his profile. Jeremy Kennedy. We already went to that guy. All right, so Michael Harris. Let's see what he's instant expert jackpot. So it looks like he is launching a product. So he's a product creator. But just because they're a product creator doesn't mean they won't buy from you, okay? So don't be afraid to friend them. This guy and I have 357 mutual friends, but I've also got almost 5,000 friends now. So you're going to see a lot of people that um, I have a lot of friends in common with, okay? But he would definitely be somebody that I would add going through here. Not a bit profit. So this guy's definitely in my niche. So he would be somebody that I would add, okay? So I could spend hours doing this, but was, what I like to do is I like to send five friend requests each day, and that's what friend requests each day, and that's what I recommend uh, that you do too, okay? So that is... Um, how you can find experts and go through their friend list and add those people as your friends, okay? Now, of course, don't spam these people. Just add them, okay? Make sure you have some stuff on your profile that shows that you're in their niche, okay? Not spammy stuff. If you have a, a timeline full of spammy crap, then they're not going to accept your friend request, okay? Make sure you've got some really good content posts, um, uh, stuff about your business that's not spammy, okay? Now, something else that you can do is you can go to Facebook and you can search for your niche plus group. So internet marketing, and I'm not going to add group, I'm just going to add internet marketing. I'm going to click search, and I'm going to go to groups, and then I want to join as many of these groups that have a lot of members as I possibly can. Now, I'm already a member of a lot of these, so if we look in here. These people are definitely in your niche, okay? So this guy is the admin. What is this person doing? But even worse than that, da 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 da. All right, so this could be somebody that I wanted to add because they're look, they look like they um, need help marketing their business or they are marketing their business. This person, same thing. I could send them a friend request. Um, 
this person, they're marketing a link. All these people are marketing something. So they are actively um, uh, doing internet marketing. So I definitely want these people as friends. The the adding people, um, adding your friends via Facebook groups that are related to your niche is a great way to get a whole list of friends that um, are interested in your niche because they belong to a group about it, okay? All right, so that's it for today, is what you need to do now is to friend request at least five people who are in your niche. You'll want to do this daily, so make sure to add it to your traffic calendar. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow with another traffic tactic. All right, guys, so now I would stop the video at this point, but I'm not because I'm recording with you guys, and um, I have a video that's ready to go. I created a script for it. I've got a video now, and of course, this is going to be part of a product, um, but I could use this as content on my Facebook page. I could use this as um, content on my blog. I could use it as, you know, to get people to an affiliate link. I can do anything I want with this content now. And that's what you guys need to be doing. We've been talking about content marketing. And today in my I Am With Liz group, if we go to I Am With Liz, I showed another thing here. All right, Arun, he created a free downloadable report. This is another another thing of content, okay? Um, and you guys need to go and read this post. It's a great post. I will start a uh, resources document. Let's open up another instance of Word. And I'll make sure you guys get the link to this post directly. So copy that. And I'm just going to throw it in here for now. I'll make it pretty once we get done here. All right. So you guys learned a, ta a traffic tactic. <clears throat> you learned how to create, how I do my videos and create content. Uh, we're at 9.30. I'm going to do, I'm actually not going to do any other ones tonight. Just because I don't want to have to, I don't want to keep going through the process of, of creating um, the scripts because those take a while. And I don't want to put you guys through that pain, so we'll stop <clears throat> there for tonight. Okay, let me if it'll do it. Come on. So I'll just have to remember to cut this video out. All right. So let's see here. Del Walker. Hi, Liz. I joined late tonight after returning from pilgrimage to Total Eclipse. Your sound is much better tonight. Thank you. I didn't do anything magical. I'm just, I'm, I just turned on my computer. <laughs> All right. Del says, Liz, as people we are attempting to friend, look at our common friends. Does it help our chances to be friended if common friends are gurus? Uh, I don't know. I've never really tested that. I would think it would. If you have some bigger names as friends, it would probably help. I know sometimes when I get a friend request, if it shows, you know, who my mutual friends are and they're, you know, bigger names or people who, you know, I'm actually, you know, really good friends with, then um, I'm a lot more apt to add those people. So I, I would say, yeah. All right, guys, so any questions on what I covered with the whole Facebook, adding Facebook friends thing and why you should do it, how you should do it? Any questions on creating videos for your people? Now is what I'll do is um, once I save this video, I can put it in Camtasia. I'll render it. It'll spit out a video. And if I was just creating this for pure content, like I said, I could upload it to YouTube, then paste it on my blog. I could um, use it, you know, like I said, on Facebook. I could drop my affiliate link to something that's related to using Facebook to get traffic. I could do all kinds of stuff with it. But this is the kind of stuff you guys need to be doing. Any questions? Give you guys a couple more seconds. 
I'm going to save this. Get rid of this. And let's go here. Let's pull up our Team Tomy one here. But was that not like totally quick and easy, guys? How I just created that video? We're going to get off of Facebook. All right, Kate. Let's see Kate's question. I know that you use Camtasia. I have Camtasia Studio 7 and either have to upgrade or move to an alternative. I found screencast o -Matic and notes from one of your webinars. Do you recommend it or should I just bite the bullet and pay for the upgrade to Camtasia? Your recommendation. I know that you use Camtasia. I have Camtasia Studio and either have to upgrade. Oh, oops. You, uh, <laughs> it's double. Okay. Um, let's see. The only reason why I use Camtasia still is number one, it's because what I've always used. It's what I know how to use, so it's what I use. Um, it has a couple of things in it, and I'm learning more about Camtasia 9. I'm going through some tutorials from Lon Naylor. I'll be telling you guys about soon. Um, but it does more things than Screenomatic. But if you're just getting started and you just want to create videos with no bells and whistles, there's no reason why you shouldn't just use Screenomatic. Carolyn says, okay, as part of a product, do this or do this each day to just improve Facebook traffic or both. I'm using this, Carolyn, personally. Um, I'll, I'll cut the video out of this and it will be part of a product. But I could use this for content anywhere I want. Lynn Carey says, very helpful. Awesome. All right, guys, questions. If not, we're going to switch gears and start talking about you guys instead of our lesson. So I kind of did like a whole bunch of lessons in one tonight. Multitasking. Carolyn says, I have the screen of Matic and it has added some extra editing things if you buy the $15 a year uh, account. That's what I have. I have the upgraded paid version of screen of Matic. It's like I, like, I think Carolyn said, 15 bucks. I have it so my support people, if they need to um, do like a video or something showing one of my support, one of my customers something, they can just log right in there, do the video, then they can send the link directly to uh, my customer. That's why I have it. All right, guys, so let's switch gears. Anybody have any questions on anything they're trying to do in their business marketing-wise? Are you stuck on anything? Do you have anything that you need critique? Do I need to look at the copy? Do you need me to look at download pages? Anything that's related to marketing your business? What do you need help with? anything I know Carolyn says if you have some time left over explain more about your desktop fence please all right so I use this thing from Stardot called fences and I've created three different fences and to create a fence you just simply go like this it says create fence here name it so my fence name okay and then is what I do is I have shortcuts to things that are on my hard drive um, and things that are on the internet, stuff like that. So Liz's OneNote, this is where I keep all of my notes of courses I'm going through, to-do lists, stuff like that, okay? And then Liz's to-do list is something I have on Basecamp. Profits, this is stuff I'm working on to make me money. Communication, these are the people I need to be communicating with each and every day. So in here are uh, links to my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, my virtual assistants, my support people, stuff like that. Then I have a folder that is my to-do folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to remove this fence, are things that I need to do. And then I have this Z-Move. This is just where I like download stuff. And then if I don't have time to you know, place it in a certain spot on my hard drive, I just throw it in this folder. And every once in a while, I come in and I clean this folder out and put things where they go. 
studying. I'm always studying in my business, okay? So this is what I'm currently studying. And then I have my to read. These are things I want to go through. And this could be videos or PDFs or whatever. And then I have read. So when I go through something and I really like it, I throw it over here in my red folder. And I wonder if that'll come up. So these are all things that I've gone through and that I actually like. I usually take them and then I organize them into um, folders and a resources folder on my hard drive. Script all is something I'm constantly going through, so that's there. And then I have my working on section. So start here. These are things I need to do right now. Then I have all my different businesses. There's four legs to my businesses, so I have four different folders here. Um, this is something I need to do and work on. I'm working on a PLR launch and then there's some legal info I need to add to my sites. So these are all like immediate things I need to do. And I just keep everything in fences. That way everything's always on my desktop. Everything's nice and organized. And then I use the rest of my desktop to actually like do work on things. Like if I have a PLR product I've downloaded, I'll throw it on my desktop and pick it apart on my desktop. Just like if it was like a real desk I was sitting at and somebody handed me the hard copies of everything. I'll pull everything out, have it all spread everywhere and go, okay, I need this, I need this, I need this. And when I'm done, I just clear my desktop off. Does that help, Carolyn? Del says, have you partitioned your or organized your hard drive for products to sell, classes, projects, programs, etc.? Not really. If you look at my hard drive, I have an external hard drive. So this is my hard drive. And I have everything organized in each of legs of my businesses. Um, and then this actually needs to get deleted because I organized everything out of that. And then I have um, you know, apps, things that I, I've downloaded that I use. I have a graphics folder that's full of all kinds of graphics uh, for my marketing needs. This is all my niche business stuff. Then I have resources and I have them organized into like categories. So if I'm uh, doing something and I need to uh, know something about affiliate marketing, I've got a whole bunch of resources in this folder that are all about affiliate marketing. If I need to, you know, brush up on content creation, copywriting, email marketing, list building, all this is all organized. And then this is just for like temporary stuff. This house is all of my videos and there's folders for all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and then that's that just that move thing. And then this is just something to remind me of what Liz told me is. Lynn says, I found that helpful. I'm always trying to organize myself. It's hard. It really is hard and it's time consuming to stay organized. Carolyn says, do you save any of the stuff you are working on or just delete what is left? It depends. If it's like a PLR package, <clears throat> I have it saved on my external hard drive and then I drag it to my desktop. I always keep the original PLR package fully intact. Del says, how do you file WSOs, etc. you buy so you can find them quickly? Uh, anything I buy goes into my to read folder. Carolyn says, yeah, okay, then do you save the part you worked on into one of the fences? No. These are all links to things on my hard drive. You're not saving anything into the fences. These are just shortcuts. Like this Liz Tomy thing is a shortcut to the Liz Tomy folder on my hard drive. Making sense now, Carolyn? I don't actually keep files and stuff <clears throat> in those fences. I just keep shortcuts to things. All right, guys, last call for questions. Anything I can help you with in your business? Or any questions you have for me about how I run my business? Carolyn, yeah. Oh, sort of like I use save text on my desktop titled webinars to go to because calendar is a bitch. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, if there's no other questions tonight, we will wrap it up. I know I covered a lot of content really fast. Could be because of uh, coffee. <laughs> Lots of coffee consumption tonight. Um, covered several things tonight, so hopefully you guys got a lot out of that. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do on the next webinar, but I'll tell you guys in the next couple days. All right, guys, have a great night, and I'll see everybody next week, or some of you I'll see Thursday. Night, guys.